That's a stream. Ah, there we go. Perfect. There we go. Okay, there are no, there's no one watching. Oh, there's, uh, there's one. We've got one. Good morning, guys. Hello. We are Emily. And I'm Gabriel. From <laughs> Maez Pontelungo. And we've got a 10 to 13 focus this morning for you. For four now. What? Four now, just the, the counts go. Oh, four. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Leave a comment to let us know where you guys are from. Where are you guys <laughs> from? Where are you guys from? I'm going to try and type that correctly. If everybody's in Italy as well, that is Padua, Romagna. Mm. Okay. Yeah, if there's anyone watching from France or Spain, we're particularly curious. Um, not, not that we're not from Italy, but just purely from <laughs> <laughs> how wide our viewership is. Yeah. A lot of people from North. Um, and I'm from Cambridge in England. And I'm from Birmingham in England. Um, not far apart, both kind of Midlands. Almost. Yeah, kind of, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I wonder if you can hear from the accents that we're both English. <laughs> Um, so we are still, this is our first uh, webinar, so we're still getting used to the technology here. And I'm not entirely sure how we click through the slides. Activate the slides. Maybe if we, Potentially. if we just look at it, look, then we can see both, but we can't see ourselves. And that can be seen from their screen, can it? Just this. Okay. This is Perfect. all I can see. Okay. Okay, so we're looking at predicting the future today. Which is a general <laughs> mix of, uh, I think we're going to get onto some, hopefully some horoscope things later on, which I'm particularly excited <laughs> about. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're going to be looking at uh, um, some, some vocabulary with regards to what, where we think we might be in life or what what might mm. might happen <laughs> a particularly interesting question at the moment yes these yes. days yeah um should we move through them yeah oh. this can be seen i'm just very worried about this not being able to be seen can you pull it down so yes okay. yeah yeah it's okay it's okay, okay. good okay let's let's have it so we can see the comments yeah. Okay. Okay. Perfect. And then we can't see ourselves. Yeah, which is no, probably, which not is a probably the best, <laughs> the best <laughs> overall strategy. Okay. So, with these true or false questions, I haven't checked the answers, but Gabe. But has. I have. Okay. So, so we'll see. We'll see how it okay. goes. And you, obviously, as a student, you must um, try and guess please, along please along with comment. me. Yes. Please. Yeah. Comment. Yeah. Um, yeah. We want your views, your opinions. Yeah. Okay, so 75% of people who read their horoscope are men. I immediately think that that is not true, that that statement is false. Yes, I agree with Luca that number one is false. In my experience, a lot more of my female, friends, of female friends follow. That is true, yeah. I, I tend to have more of a kind of... Um, my male friends tend to take more of a kind of scoff approach, I think, to, <laughs> to a lot of horoscope stuff. Um, yeah. 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 Okay. I don't know. Shall we? I think it's Let's just going to reveal it. one at a time. 75% of people who read their horoscope are women. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Not surprising. Yeah. Okay. During a full moon, the number of emergency room visits increases. I don't think people take that assiduously to keeping in touch with astrology <laughs> that they would <laughs> that they would, would check themselves into A and E. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. One would hope. I don't know. What have we got? We've so got Luca thinks Lucy number two false. is false, and Ilaria thinks three true. true. I haven't looked okay. at number three yet. Americans spend a hundred million a year on astrology. That even sounds like it might be too little for Americans to spend on astrology. I think it's quite a big <laughs> industry yeah. in the US. Yeah. 
Um, so the, I don't know, just in case anyone doesn't realize, the emergency room is at, at the hospital is where you go in an emergency. If you've broken a bone, I guess, or for, for immediate organ failure and that kind of stuff, yeah. So, I, yeah, I just can't see that. I know, I well, checked. You know I know, I know, I know, but before, I did, I, you know, it seems to me like a moment. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I'm going to say false, yeah. Okay. I agree with Luca. False. false. Okay, good. No scientific studies have proven that more people visit the emergency room on full moons. Good. Yeah. And I agree with you. I, I think it's, I know the answer to this, but I think it must be much more for. A hundred million dollars over a whole nation is. That's not over a nation not, the size of the US yeah. as well. I mean, so, they, these, so Luca and Ilaria think it's true. I think maybe it's false and Gabe already knows the answers. The answer. I think Luke the implication with this though is that it's a, maybe at least a hundred million. Yeah. Potentially. Uh, well, I, I assume that Again, again, true. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Okay, true. true. Okay. Yeah. Well, well done, Luca and Ilaria. So, Luca got all of those right. Yeah. And Ilaria got number three right, too. Okay. Okay, we've got more. We've got more of these to go, yeah. More true or false. <laughs> there are three billion fortune cookies made every year. A fortune cookie is this picture on the left that what you get at a Chinese restaurant when you finish your meal yeah um three billion yeah that probably billion, sounds I think yeah yeah again my, my comments here are, <laughs> <laughs> are slightly uh <laughs> um yeah do you guys watching True, what do you think for, for this first one True. And also, what do you have an opinion on fortune cookies? I think they're a little overrated. What, in terms of flavour? Hi, Hi Lavinia. Lavinia. That's all right, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> it's early yet. <laughs> um, in terms of flavour, do you mean? Or in yeah. Terms of, but I suppose the point it's is... It's not really the about flavor, the... Yeah, it, yeah. yeah, I think it's the... The little fortune the little that you receive yeah. inside. Um... I reckon that this is true, this first one. True. Okay, three yeah. billion. Yeah. That's a lot. Yeah. Fortune cookies were invented in China. I expect not. It seems like it would have been a Western invention. Um. <laughs> I'm gonna keep my mouth shut. <laughs> Luca doesn't like to eat them. No, I agree. I agree. Flavor-wise, they're a waste of time. But yeah, a bit dry. Yeah, yeah. It's a thoroughly dissatisfying dessert. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah. So Ilaria <laughs> thinks, false. thinks false. I think I agree. They were invented in Japan. Oh. Lavinia. Okay. Have you done this focus before, Lavinia? Maybe in school. <laughs> Or knows Japanese. a lot about. <laughs> ah. I think they're Japanese as well. Okay. Interesting. Ah. Well done, guys. Well done. <laughs> I find that very surprising. But that's cool. Okay. And last one. Yuka has done it. Yeah, they have done it. Uh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So this is maybe le less exciting for you than it is for me because <laughs> yeah. I've never done this yeah. before. And you can study astrology at university. I hope not, but I. I, I bet you. I bet you. I mean, not from having read these, but like there are loads of so-called Mickey Mouse degrees i think you can do well um, luca no, is saying true and he's done the true. focus he's done the focus is actually <laughs> in seattle in seattle okay well let's click Kepler college in seattle. oh my yeah gosh. well done washington offers ba and ma programs in astrology <laughs> <laughs> well i mean you could study the history of astrology i did i mean i did i did a lot of magic during my degree and there's a lot of astrology in, in that yeah <laughs> I mean it was <laughs> it was the kind of mm, historicity and kind of you know it's about it's about pre-scientific belief more than yeah else, but yeah yeah from that uh, point of view it's 
it's yeah. interesting. But the, I mean, they have there's I don't I can't remember where it is, but they have David Beckham studies. You heard oh of my that? god! In the UK, they have they have they have a degree in David Beckham studies. I don't know if anybody's heard so, a that. masters. It must be. It's I don't know. I think it's about the sociology of sport and that that kind of thing, but. Just the, ah. just the title for me is... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's utterly hilarious. Yeah. Okay. Well, good stuff. Well done on that, guys. Good memory. <laughs> okay. Moving on. Okay, so there's a bit of reading here. Um, I guess to maybe to make this more interesting for you guys listening... Um, you can listen to our pronunciation, and if there are any words that we pronounce differently to the way they seem, then that could be a way for you to interact while yeah. we Or if there are read. any queries on vocabulary, do shout out as well. So yeah, definitely. Like scalpel coming up. I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Maybe it's the same. But... This is more interesting for us if you, if you give, interact. give us some yeah. questions. Yeah. And, yeah. Okay. You want to start? Uh, should we read? I'm going to read the red list okay, first. Yeah. Falling, altering, prosperity, seriously, exhibit, gloomy, contentment. Um, I would usually ask students to think a little bit about the grammar of those words before we start mm. putting them in the sentences. Mm. So just take it, take one minute and look at the red words and think about which are nouns adjectives mm -hmm. adverbs um or verbs. verbs there's one word in there which could be a verb or a noun mm. and i i'm not sure because i haven't read the text yet um uh, because it's that's that's another way to use that's to figure point. out which is the correct vocabulary yeah, for the for process sentences. process of elimination again yeah you can use the meaning of the word but also the grammar of the sentence mm -hmm. something very useful for anyone thinking about doing a, an exam in English, because mm. that's the sort of thing you have to do. Okay. Do you, want you had quite a, a heavy kind of schwa sound on altering. It was quite interesting. I would say altering a little bit more, but you said altering. Uh, very uh, altering. Altering, yeah. Altering, altering. How would you say it? Altering, 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 <laughs> altering. <laughs> Altering, but you went with a real altering. Yeah. I don't know. I'm just, That's I'm good. interested in the pronunciation. Yeah, no, no, yeah, absolutely. Altering. You've got altering. a bit more of an ah sound. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's good, guys. That. Yeah. Yeah. Falling is a strange one because that ing form, it definitely comes from the noun, the verb, sorry, to fall. But in the ing form, it could be a present participle or a gerund. And if it's a gerund, then it's technically more of a noun than a, mm, than a verb. Mm, it's a verb acting as a noun, effectively. Isn't it? Yeah. That's good. Yeah, seriously, it's an adverb. adverb. Yep. Prosperity is a noun, definitely. Um, what about exhibit, guys? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Exhibit anyone? I don't know. I think maybe there's a little delay for when the comments come to us. Potentially. A few yeah. seconds. Yeah. Exhibit, exhibit verb. verb. Yeah. yeah. So exhibit is what I was saying. Could be a verb or a noun because you one piece in a museum, when you go and look around a museum, you have an exhibition is the um, collection of objects. And the one exhibit is one item within that collection of objects, but it is also a verb to mm -hmm. exhibit. Mm -hmm. So we'll have to see from the context which. Gloomy adjective. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Stuff. Cool. Uh, shall I start reading? Yeah, go for it. Palm reading is taken quite something in Japanese culture. So, what do we think for that first? Contentment. Contentment now, I'm good. Yeah, definitely. So what? the first one, palm reading is taken quite in so, Japanese culture. Yeah. We've got to think whatever the answer is, is relative to, um, does it describe a noun or a verb? Or, yeah, or one. 
I think, should we wait until we get an answer? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I guess. I don't know how long. Seriously, yeah, yeah. good stuff. Perfect. Great. Okay. Well done. Oh, Let's take it quite off. seriously in Japanese culture. The Japanese spend a good amount of money having their palms read and believe that the lines represent their future. Mm. Mm. Okay. So grammatically, there are, I think that's probably right. I think Alari is probably right. Yeah, yeah. Represent their Good future Good stuff, prosperity. well done both. And grammatically, it's the object of represent, so it has to be a noun. Uh, the lines, yeah, okay, Laria is way ahead Good. of us. The lines exhibit the probability of being wealthy, da -da -da, of finding mm. something and having rewarding love relationships in their lives. Love relationships. Love relationships. That's a strange turn of phrase. I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Loving, having, having as a person, romantic as a, relationships. That would be I better. think is a, probably a, finding contentment. Yeah, good stuff. Well done, Ilaria. Finding contentment and having rewar rewarding roman romantic relationships in their lives. I don't know who's put that. <laughs> when the lines represent a future, some Japanese people are literally taking matters into their own hands. Mm. Okay. Um, mm. Yeah, I mean, any... that's, that's, that's one, isn't it, really? Yeah, gloomy, good. Good. It's got to be an adjective um some i think i'm gonna sneeze oh it's okay now it's gone <laughs> some are undergoing an operation in hopes of good yeah altering yeah their futures their futures uh much the operation takes around 15 minutes and costs about a thousand dollars the surgeon uses an electric scalpel to burn lines into the palms to increase the odds of becoming wealthy, oh of God. having a pleasant life, or of falling in love. Falling, yeah. What does gloomy mean? Um, in this context, kind of bleak, really, a kind of... I don't think... Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Sorry, okay. It's a um, nice synonym. A, a kind of, uh, in a sense, dark, isn't it? In, yeah. in, a, in a kind of poetic sense, it's a, a not great future, a, 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 a dark and misfortunate. What other synonyms would you use? Unfortunate. Uh, I'm saying misfortunate. So. Oh. <laughs> um, yeah, I would I'm, say it's the opposite. If you think of a bright future, yeah. fi a figuratively bright future, gloomy is the yeah, opposite. A, 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 yeah, I mean, to, if something is gloomy, you could say a room is gloomy. It means effectively it's dark. It's without light. Um, not totally so, without so, light, but without yeah, light. It's, not bright. It's, yeah. it's not bright. Yeah. If I switched my light off here, this room would be gloomy yeah. because yeah. the the light from the window isn't very strong. Yeah, but as Emily was saying, I guess in a figurative sense, it it just means. Um, Maybe with filled explained. with, I think so. I think it's, it's so. But that's why I, I know. That's why immediately the synonym bleak jumps to my mind, which is which often gets paired with future as well. A bleak future. A bleak future, I think, is is something which is exactly that's true, yes. Laria. Yes, the odds of becoming wealthy means the probability. Yeah, whether yeah. it is probable or not. Yeah, exactly. Um, any more vocabulary? Questions, yeah. Is there anything? No. We've got, so you mentioned scalpel. scalpel. I presume that, I don't know. Do you know the Italian for scalpel? <laughs> I have no idea what the Italian is. I presume it's kind of It's a little knife. Maybe, yeah. Because also the... 
yes. Yeah, yeah. It's the opposite of even in when we think of numbers. Anyway. Good. Okay. Good. Quite okay. easy. Good, <laughs> Good. stuff. <laughs> Shall we move on? Yeah. Okay. So um, match up. Match the statements with the level of certainty. Mm -hmm. um, I am sure. I think so, but I'm not 100% sure. Or I don't think so. You want to read out the... Yeah. You are bound to get married in the next year. So the probability phrase here is bound to. Mm -hmm. um, if we call... How should we... We could say the the three phrases are levels. Yeah, Level. yeah, yeah. Or sure. I don't know. I'm just trying to think of an easy thing for them to write to us in the box. Uh, sure, not a hundred percent. And then no. No, just to go with no. Yeah. I am sure. Perfect. Yeah, Luca. you're bound yeah. to get married in the next year. Well yeah. done, Luca. It's quite a strong. Yeah. Thing. You don't have much of a chance at getting a promotion at work. What do mm. we think? You don't have much of a chance. A chance in this case is like a probability again. You don't have a high probability. Yeah. Okay, maybe I just gave the answer. No, no. I mean, it's quite, yeah, yeah. Well yeah. Done in our area. yeah. 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 It's just it's not very likely, isn't it? I think. I don't think so. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, wait. Good. No, it's... it's yeah, because yeah, we haven't just, read yeah, it. Yeah, so. yeah. yeah. Okay. You may well win the lottery next week. Hmm. And we need to look at the meaning of the phrase, not the, not the actual probability of the idea. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So you may well... I'm just gonna blow my nose. Mm -hmm. Okay. Not a hundred percent. Yeah. Good. You may you may well. So we're 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 looking, I think, at a kind of mediocre um, possibility, I think, in this sense. It's it's that that there's a there's a good chance, I think, in a sense, isn't there? But mm. it, it's not it's not so certain that it's i am absolutely sure I yeah. think there's a an element of uncertainty yeah yeah so larry is it was yeah. that's talking about the yeah. this one okay. yeah good there is a good chance you will have children there's a good chance What do you guys think? Mm. I'm curious how many people are watching us. I wonder if it's just these two guys. Five people. Five. Mm. I like your, your ploy of blocking out the, uh, the camera. <laughs> the camera yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can't stare at my face. I, if, <laughs> if, if I could see us in a little video, then I would be just looking at that. Yeah, time. yeah. So a good chance. I don't. Not a hundred percent. That's from the last one. That's from the last one. I think so. Perfect. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Good. I think so. No, no, I think. Yeah. Yeah, Elari put that one as well. Yeah. Yeah, both. Yeah. Well done. Oh, I see. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're right. Twenty-five. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Good. Yeah. yeah you're right. Well done, guys. You will certainly travel to China next month. So we've got the adverb, certainly. Yeah. I am sure, yeah. Perfect. Well done. Perfect. And you are unlikely to write a book in your lifetime. Unlikely. Do we have? I think so. Yeah, good. Good. Yeah. Yeah. That... Yeah. 
Perfect. Cool. So unlikely, if we take out the un, I don't know why I'm, I'm showing Gabriel on the yeah. screen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Then likely is a synonym of probable, mm -hmm. which often is, is an yeah. easier word for it. Yeah. And equally with the positive phrases, you, you might see you're likely to, to do this too. What does you are bound mean? Like you are near. It's not to do with near. Um, it's almost like you have to do, if you are bound to do something, um, it's like you are, you have to do it, almost. It, 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 could, it could mean, I think, maybe potentially it's often sometimes used with direction as well, because you could say bound is also used That's in the true. phrase of uh, I am uh, homeward. You, I'm homeward bound or I am bound for... Um, a location of some of some of some kind because also yeah. it gets it gets attached to the word in it inbound isn't it it means inbound. On, on, in on your way to, yeah like an inbound somewhere. flight an inbound flight is that yeah it? but when we talk about direction it's a quite a different yeah but i think I the, feel word, like the, the I, etymology is probably the same yeah 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 i mean but, of course this is to do with time and kind of um more events yeah, but I think it comes from the idea of being like constricted to doing something. So if you make a promise to someone, then you are bound by your promise and it means you're kind of tied that's true. That's by the true. promise. And I I would associate you think that this that's the etymology of that. Yeah, that's where this bound. phrase that's where I would guess the phrase comes from. Um mm. But in this context, mm. we don't need to think too literally. You, you're bound mm. to do something means it, you are very likely to do something. Mm. Um, I don't. Sometimes, sometimes thinking of the etymology helps, and sometimes it makes things more complicated. Yes, it does. If you think about it too, too, yeah. <laughs> too hard, you can kind of. <clears throat> oh, that's the track. <laughs> okay, shall we move on? <laughs> yes, <laughs> make please. sure to spread all of my shirts. Uh, <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. So similar. Oh, so it's got some similar phrases. Only this time we're choosing the category. Mm -hmm. That's basically the same activity. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So sure to happen, likely to happen again, and unlikely to happen. Number one: chances are that you will move to a new country within the next five years? Chances are. Um, this is a slightly strange phrase. Mm. I remember students sometimes find that a little confusing because these all come from one of the lessons, these phrases, I think level 11 or 12. Mm. Chances are. Chances are. Again, I think we just don't think about it too literally. <laughs> Because yeah, if you try yeah. and make it literal, if you try sense, and break it down again, these are just far more this intuitive, one isn't it? Yeah. What do we think, guys? Sure, likely or unlikely. Likely, likely. Yeah. Oh, I see. Right. Oh, okay. So no, Ilaris in the first one. Okay, okay. Ilaris put one and two. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Likely. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Good stuff. Hi, Alessandra. Nice to meet you. In a way. And Fabs. <laughs> <laughs> um. Two. two. Okay. It's. It's doubtful that you will become the president of a company. So here we have the adjective doubtful, hmm. which, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think Lucas. Lucas yeah, put the and Ilari is done it. Oh, yeah, okay, perfect. Yeah. So unlikely, number two. If something is doubtful, it's yeah. unlikely. Yeah. Number three, then. I wouldn't be surprised if you were married in the next year. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. 
Angularia's probably it right. It wouldn't surprise me, effectively. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. 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 Likely good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Okay. Number four. I bet he will travel to Thailand and swim the ocean every day. Um, I bet. Sure. Yeah. Sure to happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think that's the right answer. It's it's not a. Yeah. Oh. I don't. I. It's interesting because I. I almost feel like with that one, it's. It rests in between the two of them in a way. If you were to rank them. Yeah. I feel like number four is is higher than. Chances are, or I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. Well, I and also I think in the lesson I'm fairly confident that. I, the phrase "I bet" comes under okay. "sure to happen," so mm. I think they've explained it differently. Yeah, to, potentially to the way it comes in the lesson. I still think there's this element of opinion about it, though, isn't it? No, I I, um, I prefer this answer. I prefer "I bet" as likely yeah, to happen. Yeah, yeah, I, um, I, I I agree. I think again, if you were, because these are two, these are three, kind of quite um, artificial categories in a way. And I feel like mm. if you were to rank them, it would come higher than chances are, in a way. Yeah, yeah. But I maybe think... not as high as... Sure. Yeah. 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 Um, so much of this type of language depends on context as well. Mm -hmm. um, it, it depends on how you say it and what you're talking about. It can change the meaning of different phrases a lot, I think. What about number five then? She is bound to get pregnant any day now. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not we'll, think we'll too not hard. Let's we'll not think Again, too hard about that. <laughs> <laughs> just look at the phrase. Don't worry about the actual, the actual sentence. content. <laughs> yeah. Any ideas for number five? Okay. Well, On the last um, slide, anyway. Yeah, that one. yeah. she is bound to. <laughs> <laughs> Moving okay. swiftly on. <laughs> okay, so this is the Chinese zodiac we're looking at now. Um, before we even start thinking about these adjectives, um, do you guys know what your what, what your, your what your sign is? Yeah. Yeah. So. We're now, this is not the month, this doesn't change monthly, this changes yearly. And we're now in the year of the rat, I think. Are we? 2020. They, we're in the rat, are we? Which it says, where's the rat? Are these in, in order? No, we have to connect. Mm -hmm. No, no, this I know, but, but in terms of. Oh, what, I see. Have these been put in? I don't know. I don't know the, the year order. What, what, are you, what, what are you? I am monkey. Which I'm, quite, I'm happy with. Monkey, yeah. Happy with a monkey. What do you? If, if you guys watching, if you know what? your year, yeah. let us know. Put your put your animal down. Yeah, if you, do you if know you know. Yours? Yeah, I'm I'm pig. Which I think they're. Oh, down are you ninety five? I'm ninety five. Yeah. yeah, that's the same as my sister. Yeah. What are you ninety two? Two. Okay. So okay. does it? So they're not in order. Then. Oh, it could be. Yeah. No. No, I don't think so, because I think the rat is after pig or before pig, I feel. I don't know. 1984, rat. Good years. Yeah. Yeah, and Lucas, Golden horse. Horse. Yeah. Yeah, those are all good ones. And I, it's nice of them to put boar instead of pig, I think. My sister was always a little bit upset to be born. I, in I, I quite like pig. I don't know. I, think, there's some, I think pigs there's are some... fantastic. They're amazing animals. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they've gone with a more but... uh, uh, prouder, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> totemically prouder animals. Yeah, but tiger and dragon are definitely. I mean, dragon. The year of the dragon has to be 
says, oh, that's just too fancy, aren't they? Yeah. 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 They're too fancy. <laughs> You, you, they're too, they're too, well, I don't know what dragons uh, you've been hanging out with. People who want to show off. <laughs> oh, the people. Oh, I see. Yeah. I thought you meant like the animals was too fancy. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All the dragons I've met have been very down to earth. Been highly down to earth. Highly, yeah. Okay. Should we move on to yeah. the vocab? <laughs> okay. Um, so we need to connect. We need to connect the adjective to the definition. The definitions, yeah. Um, and I guess ox. Ox is cool. Ninety-seven. Ox. I didn't even realize ox was one of them. Ox. Maybe it's a. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they've changed. Maybe they've tweaked it slightly to. I think it was goat. It... Where was goat? I'm sure there was a year of the goat. Maybe that was sh sheep. sheep. Maybe, maybe that's sheep. sheep. They feel, I feel like they've. Changed a lot of these on these slides. Yeah, is ox maybe maybe they put cow down for the ox? Ox is there. Yeah, I know, but I'm just wondering if that's an original. Yeah, like they've changed for. Maybe it's some of it is is maybe there's a bit of room for interpretation of the, mm, the original the Chinese. Chinese. Yeah. yeah, that's true. All right, should we go with adaptable? Should why don't we should read, we read through these? Yeah, okay. okay. Should I read? Yeah, go for it. Okay. Others easily believe you. You rely on your instinct. You are sensible with decisions. You enjoy being funny and strange. You desire and work hard for success. You are just easily to change. Okay. So then adaptable. Mm -hmm. Adaptable. Um, what do we think it is? You could put, tell us what the, the animal is. The animal is, I think, is probably... Yeah. The easiest thing to write. Adjust easily to okay. change. Adjust easily. Yeah. Yeah. Very okay. good. Good. So rat and horse. So who was the horse? Luca. The horse was Luca. So that oh and and um fabs. And fabs, yeah. So you guys yeah. are adaptable apparently, which is a good quality. Uh Say if you agree as well, because I don't yeah, that's true. <laughs> you know, Does it describe do you, you? Do you think you are <laughs> adaptable <laughs> according to these? Okay, reasonable. And this is this is good because we're going to have a good false mm, friend. Yes, to talk about. Yeah, so adaptable. Yeah, Luca, we saw that you're a horse, which makes you adaptable. adaptable yeah. yeah. Ah, good. Yes, good. <laughs> <laughs> it does describe you. Um, what do we think for reasonable then, guys? So we need to be very careful with this because there's a false friend in the description. Mm. You rely on your instincts. It's... That no, it's not quite that. It's not quite mm. to do with instinct. Yeah. Maybe it's ox. Yeah. Yeah. And sensible. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, good. Okay. That's that those are all correct. Sensible being the tricky false friend there, isn't it? Yeah. So sensible is horrible because it's almost the opposite in English of what it oh, means oh, in Italian. Of what it means in Italian, yeah. Yeah. I would say sensible. Someone sensible is someone who makes good decisions. Mm. Um, it's all, In some um, almost, cases, it's a synonym of reasonable. Mm, almost kind of logical in, in their approach to thinking and, and planning in some way, I feel. Yeah. Someone yeah. who has a lot of sense, yeah, is someone sensible. But someone sense, with but good, sense good, in good the sense, sense. Of, 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 of again of reason rather than yeah the senses. That's true, if you will. Not emotional, but yeah, logical. Yeah, yeah, that's a tricky one. Okay, ambitious. Tiger. Tiger. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, good stuff. Nice. 
Uh, trustworthy. I'm not sure I like that definition. It's not a good definition of trustworthy. Mm, no. No, that's more kind of credible in a way. Isn't yeah. It? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 well done, guys. <laughs> You've given the right answer, but we don't like... We don't like it, no. We don't like... Others easily believe you is not a good definition of trustworthy, in my opinion. But you've all picked the right, the correct answer, yeah. Mm. Um, because to... Yeah. It could... This is even... Others easily believe you. That could just be someone persuasive. It doesn't mean that you're mm, trustworthy. Mm, mm. Um, yeah, nice. Yeah, you all got the, the, the correct the, answer. The yeah. yeah, eccentric, and that's a tricky pronunciation there. Eccentric, yeah, you got it. There are three C's with all kind of slightly different <laughs> pronunciations. Eccentric, mm. uh, yeah, that's correct. Good, Alessandra. Dragon, yeah. That's correct. Should I connect it? Yeah. We can move good. on a bit yeah. more quickly, maybe. So last one. Intuitive. Yeah, that's, that's correct. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well done, Luca. Intuitive. Uh, it's the one, only one left, only so one I'm going to connect it. On your instinct. So that mm. should be me. I'm a monkey. Are you intuitive? I don't, well, sometimes. <laughs> I don't think, I don't know that I'm more intuitive than any of these other. Yeah. I'm yeah. not very ambitious. Yeah. But I think I'm trustworthy and maybe a bit eccentric. Yeah, well then, guys, intuitive, yeah. I'm apparently reasonable, which I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't think that holds true. I don't think that's I think you're, true. I think you're reasonable. reasonable yeah. I think okay. you're very reasonable. Yeah. <laughs> Sense. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's move on. We've got five more minutes. Element. What's your element? What's your element? Are they? Oh, I see. Because it's fire, earth, and water. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Does everybody know their um, star, star sign, sign then? Can you comment with your star sign if you know it? We'll have to be a bit quicker with this, but we can compare. Yeah. We'll see how your star signs match up with your. Um, I think if we just do tens, we can not do them. Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I'm you, Scorpio. Scorpio. Um, When's your birthday? The 20th of November. Oh, that's a good period to have a birthday. Yeah. Scorpio, <laughs> so you're water. Yeah, which seems, it seems very illogical, some of these. Aquarius apparently is an air sign. Is air, even though. <laughs> hey, Scorpio. Scorpios. Here, I am Virgo, which is Earth. Earth. Yeah. So Cancer and Pisces, that makes sense. Being, oh, no, what's Pisces? Pisces is... That's fish, fish yeah, yeah, and cancer is crab. Yeah. So it makes sense that those are water. It, Aquarius, but yeah, why that's is, all. And why would a scorpion, what? why is Scorpio water? We've got a Taurus, Lucas a Taurus. Taurus. Yeah, a fellow Earth, <laughs> a fellow <laughs> Earth man. <laughs> <laughs> Aries, Leo and Aries. Yeah. Okay, should we... Let's through? move on, yeah. Gemini. Gemini. Oh, nice. Oh, that's that's, that's our Dos, Serena. Um, Taurus. I'm hoping not to celebrate my birthday at home alone. Oh, yes. No. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I hope not to, Larry. <laughs> that's such a shame. Yeah. Hopefully, maybe things will have changed. Yeah. That's more than a month away, Larry. I think yeah. there's hope still. Hi, Serena. She's only saying hi to me, not yeah, to you. No, I know, I know. Hi, Serena. <laughs> <laughs> Do 
<laughs> Maybe my head's not on the camera. <laughs> okay. Um, um, okay. So it's a matchup with the star signs, effectively. Similar to, to, yeah. the, to the other one. Okay, fire signs. Impulsive, unpredictable. Sorry, spontaneous, unpredictable, impulsive. Maybe we should... Okay. <laughs> Maybe we should read through the definitions first. Okay, yeah. Um, so, chances are that you will move cities often and attract attention, but it's unlikely you will form a lasting relationship. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. You will certainly have an exciting and creative career, but you may well act too quickly in love. Mm -hmm. And you are bound to have a long-term relationship but there is a good chance that your jealousy will get in the way. Mm -hmm. You will surely find work in serving other people, but you will likely become too attached to those you work with. Okay. Um, so, so, fire sign, spontaneous, unpredictable, and impulsive. I don't know how the students can give us their answers. Maybe one, two, three, four. Okay. Just just order them, guys, number one, two, three, four. So, yeah. For the definitions. For the definitions. We'll call them one to four. Yeah. Um, spontaneous, unpredictable, impulsive. What do we uh, think? Okay. Uh, okay, so Luke is saying one, two, so I think. Two. One on this side mm. to two. Yes. And Eli is saying two. Is saying two as well. You will certainly have an exciting and creative career, but you may well act too quickly in love. Um I think I I think number two is actually a different sign, a different element. Do you think that's air? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, but the numbers one and two of the definitions are They're not very that close, distinct. aren't they? Yeah. 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 Well, we've only got one minute, so spontaneity. Let's... Well, it has gone for two, though. Oh yes. Oh. Yeah, okay. Yeah, got, well, done, well done, guys. guys. Well done, guys. <laughs> <laughs> You're beating us. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I get. So you were thinking probably number one for that as well. I was thinking number one. Mm, yeah. Move cities often, don't form a lasting mm. relationship. That seems spontaneous. Uh, number one, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so earth sign, stable, dependable, and possessive. People have generally said three for that one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, um, possessive. Yeah. So yeah. for jealousy. Yeah. yeah. Good. Okay. Uh, Air sign. People are for one. one. Yeah. Yeah. Well done. Well That's done, Ilaria. And water sign is for number four. Yeah. Well done, Alessandra. You will surely find work in serving other people. But you will write them. I always thought Scorpios had a reputation for being, I don't know, different to that definition. Although I quite like that. I wonder if these are even fixed, depending on what you're... Again, I've got... You are bound to have a long-term long -term relationship, but there's a good chance that your jealousy will get in the way. I don't know if that fits with reasonable. Because that was my other one, wasn't it? Oh. You said before that you were reasonable. But that was your Chinese zodiac. Was that with the ox? Yeah. Okay, right. Okay. That was yeah. a different system. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, we need to go, I think, guys. Yeah. It's 10 to, 10 to 12. What is the Become, Become attached. Become attached. Just cool. it, it means, uh, so attached in a literal sense would be physically connected. Mm. In this figurative sense, it means emotionally. You become emotionally connected. Where's the sentence? 
you will likely become too attached to those you work with. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Too too emotionally involved, too emotionally connected. Yeah, with yeah. Those. and invested in the relationship. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we need to go. Good. Okay, thanks, guys. Um. Yeah. Good to meet you really, all. Really, really good stuff. I um, will. We'll do it this week. Otherwise. Yeah. Bye. Bye.